This is the cat's meow. Have you ever had something stop all of your thoughts at once? Spraying on Tiger Lust is just that. Check out the unboxing video. It's real. Stopping all senses to re-engage everything you know. The best leather, check. The best musk, check. Heavy duty ambergris, check. Out of this world, Osmanthus, check. Bathe in Oud, check. And so it goes on and on with Tiger Lust. Stay tuned for this one on Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance. We a surprise for you. The collab is back with we'll Stop Talking About Fragrance. Here it is. It's, it's time. time. You, you are, are presented, presented with a choice. choice. Blue. Blue. If, if you, you like, like how things are and, and want to continue in, in this social frame life, life Spray in the blue. A plug it in life with, with synthesized air or what they let you believe is air. There, there are times that come in your life for, for some only once that you get an opportunity like this. They're the red. There are complete, complete truths that you will come to know forever. There, there is, is no going, going back. back. This, this is the rabbit hole. Everything, Everything changes in a sniff. Senses, senses will be made alive that you weren't aware were there. Your, your mind will pause, and then there will be no computation for what is happening. You have chosen the glory cloud and are about to meet its maker. The glory cloud is a reflection of Earth's abundance and a gift back to a wild life well lived. A life that is governed by choices that are beyond itself to help others find these mysteries. Welcome to a whole new way of doing the fragrance journey. A fragrance breathes from your skin that blesses all that come across in its path. The unplugged life, welcome to the other side. I'm not going to eat it. So I'm very unfamiliar with Oud. I'm very unfamiliar with musk, true musk. I love musk, but I don't think I really know what musk is. Uh, I want to know what musk is. Tiger Lust. Here we go. It's like cleansing. Oh, this is amazing. I just want to put it everywhere. I have to conserve. I only have this much. Brandon, that is so special. Enzar, that's, that's incredible. Oh my gosh. I gotta do one more time. I gotta do one more. Just one more. Oh, dude, this stuff is so good. You can tell it has that, that muskiness. But this is a whole other musk. I think this might be my... Should I say it now or should I... I should, I should probably wait till I say this, but I was gonna say this is my second favorite perfume of all time. Bloodline is my first. And it totally just combines with you. I feel like it would combine with anybody, especially Brandon, but it immediately is just like, just takes what you have to offer and just like gives it off. Oh, I love that. I feel peaceful, but I also feel like I want to do something, like I want to be active and do something that means something. So thank you, thank you Enzar for making this. Um, I look forward to saving up my money and uh, definitely um, investing in your creations because this is very, very powerful. I would love to enjoy this for years to come. This is Gino and time for me to stop talking about fragrance. I can't. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, gosh. All right, everyone. That was fun. Unboxing in the middle of this. That was Stop Talking About Fragrance. We did Dendera. We're back again for Tiger Lust. I wish I would have gotten more juice. This stuff's expensive. It's 
you know the price is from Insar. It's eight hundred dollars for fifty ml. You can get t uh, nine and a half ml, and he really does an upcharge on the per ml price. That's very generous of him. So um, you don't get the cool leather pouch and whatnot on that one. Like this, different color on the pouch from World Renowned Leather Artisan. Um, hopefully I'll get the name up there. If I don't, it's on Insar's site right here. These pouches are just so cool. So cool. Um, same guy does Pope's Bibles. Um, I've worn this 15 times. I've never done that for a review. 15 full, full wearings all day, just basking in glory. I've shared this with seven different people, just like Gino there, and watched some amazing, amazing experiences. My notes I'm gonna put down and I'm gonna wing it here. These experiences are so cool. One of them was last week. I gotta wear this. Well, it's real. One of these was last week with Christo, unplanned. Um, me and him just met for the first time ever. Our meeting could have went south so fast. Uh, it did. We went to this perfume house, tried to video. The guy totally lost it. Somehow we just, we love perfume. We got everybody back on track. Just enjoyed the day. Out comes the grandma who runs this place. Never seen her before. And she's kind of like, why are you guys still here? And we start talking to her. And then everything fades away. She takes me to this museum counter. Um, a, a case that she has. For the past 50 years, she tells me every trip her husband goes on, he brings her back a perfume from around the world. These are bottles, brands that I've never seen before. Just cities around the world. A lot of Paris perfumes I've never even seen before. Classics in there for sure. All the bodies, bottles emptied. Just a little bit resin juice left thick, colored, beautiful juice and just telling me story for story, just the romance of it all. She kept saying, you know, how romantic he was and, and just, you could feel everything from her. She goes in the back, shares some of her special perfume with us that she's wearing currently, her current favorites that aren't even in, on sale in store. So here's Brandon. Can I share something with you? I have Neb Tiger thus with me. This isn't a joke. And I don't, I don't really pr spray test strips. It's really hard for me to, especially with this stuff. I did. Here she goes. She smells it. <laughs> I could not believe the next five minutes of my life. Probably a highlight of my fragrance journey. One of, one of top five, for sure. She test strip. Here's this lady. I'm a kid. She's like, ooh, really good oud. I'm like, wow. And then she starts tapping it a bit. And she goes, the civet, civet in here is very nice. She just starts breaking down note after note after note. She's never heard of Insarud. She's never even known that this is a real thing. And here she is breaking down this perfume, reviewing it. And I'm like, how are you doing that? She goes, I smell perfume every day. What are you talking about? And I'm just like, no, this is special. You don't know how special this is. And she lightened up. Her eyes lightened up with this. We had to go. It was the end of the day. I mean, that was cool. I've had other experiences with this perfume on people. Sprayed it with them. Watched their whole day change. I was able to spend the rest of the day with them. And um, they, they hunt me down for this stuff to, to get it on now. It's so good. And unfortunately, I've only had it on because the, the, the days I review it, I'm, I'm with, we're with friends and whatnot. And it's been the last, you know, since January that I've done it. Um, every week. I've, I've, I have so many notes on this, but it, I've, I've just cut so much short. We'll see what makes it to the comment section or not. I'm sure I'll max that out too. But... Yeah, I want to be mad. 
I own E01, I own E02, but once you spray this on, there's no way I can be mad. How this is blended with this many characters is beyond me. How you get E01 on the top, the leather on the top, we're, we're, we're not just the blending for it to smell and transition and smell and transition and smell and transition. It, it's a symphony on a skin. It still leaves me speechless when I apply. It stops me in my track. It's one of those Salah moments that I talk about where you just pause and think and kind of reset your mind. Like, life isn't that bad. You woke up. You're alive. It's my brother Fragrance Journey likes to say. Um, I like how he ends his videos with that. You're winning if you woke up today. I like that. And um, this just makes you reflect on thoughts like that. That life is important. We are alive. Could be worse. This is your ancestor's perfume. When I read stuff in the Bible, like Mary poured out a year's worth of salary on Jesus, I, I, before I can compute in my head, like what ingredient is that? It, it's this ingredient. It's this stuff. When you smell this rich, real stuff, oud, Mysore sandalwood, there really is no going back after it. I've talked with industry professionals about this very fact. They light up when they talk about it. They know what I'm talking about. We're lucky to have people doing batches like this for us. There's no apologies here. You are pouring a fur, fur, uh, you are pouring a fur coat on yourself with this wearing. The beast with essences of Earth's mysteries all wrapped up in this perfume. Treasures few ever get to smell individually, let alone in one concentrated perfume. If you're against the animal use, I mean, this is one you almost just have to smell for reference on the test strip. I know a, a lot of you people still smell that vintage Guerlain stuff that's got the dare musk in it. So it, it's just to have it for reference. It's worth it in itself. Um, the Matrix thing, I probably won't ever do something that like that again. It'll be different. I learned so much by doing it. I put a lot of time into it, but learned a ton. So maybe we'll be able to do some more cool stuff in the future. Um, but the Matrix thing really spells it out on this perfume, on Insert itself. Um, he wasn't the first dude I ever smelled. So it was something else, but just your intro into this level of perfumery, olfaction, this level of olfaction, it opens your mind to something else. All right, perfume compared to the notes, this, this, um, it's musk. Right away, spray it on. I know it's musk. Um, I, I smell so many similarities to EO1 right off the top. I can smell EO2 in it right off the top as well. Not as strong off the top. The leather really is prominent um, as a top note. A bright pepper citrus that screams the color red in my mind for some reason. A beating heart starts to pulsate olfactory notes that you could only dream of. If you can stay with it, it's a lovely musk dry down. If the musk doesn't turn you off, hopefully by now you know if you like real deer musk or not. Um, that is a key to this perfume. If you don't, this is not for you. This is adventure through and through off the grandmother's house we go. Super bright fruity notes, realistic living leather and saddleback form, realistic living animal on your skin. You are in the woods. The woods are wet. The woods are moist. There is moss. There is um, some pungent. There is clean petrichol air. There's ocean right there screaming in at you a lovely ambergris sillage that um i get i love smelling on other people it's a totally different smell when they're two feet away the sillage of this is fantastic um people <laughs> i've worn it so much people have like come to me i'm like this is not normal this is not a normal everyday perfume this is just 
because more people have gotten to know I'm reviewing it because I've worn it so much and been around people, and they're like, what are you smelling? They've asked more than any time else in my life. I'm like, uh-oh. So um, I'm like, this is not normal. This is I can't wear this every day. So um, after after this review, it's it's going into a deep rotation. Um, I, I'm not at the level to afford this as an everyday scent yet. Always got to say yet. Yeah, you never know. Voice said E01 is the bar for leather. Well, meet the new bar. It's right here. It's it's literally got the same as E01, but it has so much more to offer. Can't be mad at this. If you have not bought E01, you're lucky. You can upgrade to this. If you don't have E01 or E02, it's both of those in a bottle. So there you go. In this dark juice, there are vivid Coda chrome florals in ocean air. That black current is vibrant, deep, and alive. Osmanthus is just pushing up everything. I can get a rose. I don't know if roses in here. Notes, notes are not listed. I'm guessing rose and jasmine are in here. I'm guessing a lotus is in here. Um, I'm getting that just deep florals like that um, in this. And the oud is just a supporting pusher upper. Sit back and bask and you will get so many aromatics singing the lullabies to you. Black currant binds orris with the jasmine and rose. Not a bit of powder trace to my nose, but a bit more of a sharp metallic anchored floral smell. I mean, overall, this is breathing life, and it is something you enjoy with every smell, every whiff. The fume is gorgeous. It's it's a royal, just kingly fume overall. It lives on your skin and brings a divine airspace around you. I've said it five times. You guys know this. I could live without EO and Neo too, and have this. Um, I, I guess I, I, I kind of still want the EO2, just that raw musk that I talked about in the review. This is way more elegant, way more. It's got that leather I love. It, it, it's more refined on the top with, with more florals. Just th this thing is something else. Scoring Tiger Lust on Sarud. Experience 15 out of 15. Never had a bad wearing. Branding and originality, a four out of five. Kind of got the same packaging over and over again. That's fine. It, it, they look uniform in my collection. Small one point dock for that. Projection CH 5.5. Five. And both. Composition as a whole, 17 out of 20. Ingredients and price to ml 25 out of 25 in case you're knowing my knock on the composition I just want more oud. I want the oud to stand out and give more uh, uh, notes. It's it's really hidden in there um, For me in the composition might be the intention of the perfumer, but as a buyer of, of What the price tags at I really want to smell more oud in this Top gets 10 out of 10 heart 4 out of 5 the base gets a 10 out of 10, total score of 95, collection worthy all day long. Where would I wear this signature scent? All year long, it's all natural. I've called this the best all natural perfume in the world many times. Who do I see wearing this one? Daniel, from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament coming out of that lion's den coming out of the fire. This is something you put on when you walk away from something like that. This is what you put on, a life well lived. How many sprays, you guys are gonna laugh. You go for one, if you're really watching the budget on this one, I put nine sprays on. I love it, love it at nine sprays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two each wrist, wrist, five around the neck. I, I went 10. Then I come back and put a, a spray on my shirt. So 10 sprays, one to 10 sprays. The projection's over two feet. 
The sillage is long, beautiful tail. You're literally blessing people around you. The longevity, over 12 hours. All right, everyone, Tiger Lust. That's the review. Hope you liked it. All right, be blessed. I'm out.